No terror can control our life. Uh, no terror should uh, instruct us where to build and where not to build. And uh, on the same uh, um, idea, uh, no terror can tell us when we have to go to negotiate and when we should stop negotiation. The terrorists will not achieve what they think they will. They will pay for it. But I think it convinces everybody. This can be attained only by negotiations. And terror is aimed to interrupt the peace efforts. None of us has the slightest intention in his mind to submit to this threat. We should continue to negotiate. We should continue our work. We should overcome the terrorists. Yesterday's attack is a murderous attack on uh, civilian, innocent civilians living here in the region around uh, Hebron. Uh, we uh, will do our best to put our hands on the uh, murderers and to uh, bring them to, uh, to court and to prison. We think that the attack that took place yesterday is incompatible with the vital interests of the Palestinian people. We also believe that uh, that attack and its timing aim at sabotaging the uh, peace efforts that is supposed to be launched in Washington uh, in the coming few days. And we believe that the best response of Palestinians and Israelis is to double the efforts to uh, reach the kind of peace which will end the occupation and consequently bring about the comprehensive and lasting peace and security for everybody. <laughs>